In this problem, we're going to identify the following atoms as either being in the ground state or the excited state. We're going to rewrite this in the ground state configuration if excited, and you're going to name the element, assuming that it is not an ion. So for the first problem, 2-7-1, we know that the first energy level has a total allowable number of electrons of 2, and since we have 2 electrons here, we're good on the first energy level. The second energy level can have up to 8 electrons, and now we only have 7. Now that would be okay if we didn't have any more energy levels, but we do have an additional energy level, and there's one electron there. So since we have an electron in the excited state, or in a higher energy level, without having filled the energy level below it, we know that this must be excited. So what we do to rewrite this in the ground state, I'll put excited first, is we take all the electrons and we count them up. So I have a total of 7 plus 2 is 9, plus 1 is 10. 10 electrons. And I move all those electrons down to the lowest possible energy state. So 2 in the first again, and then 8 in the second, because that one electron in the excited state is going to move back down. This is our ground state configuration. Now using that, we can determine the element. And if you take a look on your periodic table, and you look at the electron configurations in the bottom left-hand side of the element symbol, you'll notice that there's one correct answer here, and it's going to be neon, which again has an electron configuration of 2-8. Now let's take a look at the second problem, and you'll notice this is now an orbital configuration, but not to worry, that just means we have to pay attention to the sublevels, okay? So in our 1s orbital, and in our, first of all, in our first energy level, we can only have two electrons. And since we have the one out front here, that means we're in the first energy level. That s represents that we're in an s orbital. And that little two represents that we have two electrons. So it looks like for the first energy level, we can put a check there. Let's take a look at the second. For the second energy level, we have a 2s and then a 2p orbital. The 2s orbital can hold a total of two electrons, so that's full, so 2s, check, we're good there. 2p can hold a total of six electrons. It's not full, but there are no higher energy levels, so this is going to be in the ground state. And since it's in the ground state, we can convert this back to major energy level notation or electron configuration notation. And since there's two in the first energy level, two electrons, we put a two. Since there are seven in the second energy level, we put a dash seven. And if you look at your periodic table, you'll notice that the electron configuration matching, or the atom matching the electron configuration with two dash seven is going to be fluorine. Now, this next one's a little tricky. We'll take a look, and you'll notice on the first energy level, 1s1, we have a 1 that indicates the energy level. That's fine. But then you'll notice that there's only one electron here instead of two, and yet we filled up other energy levels. So this must be in the excited state. So what we'll do is we'll count the total number of electrons which is going to be equal to 1 plus 2 plus 6 plus 2 plus 6 plus 2 and that'll be 19 total electrons. Now I'll just move this down for a little bit more space and you'll notice that we have or we can use that, we can take 19 electrons and we'll just use Aufbau's principle to fill those orbitals from bottom to top. We'll start with the lowest level, lowest energy, which is 1s. That's going to have two possible electrons in there, 1s2. We then go to the second energy level. We start with the 2s, since that's lowest in the second energy level. And there are two electrons there, so we're at a total of four electrons. We have still many left to go. We go to the 2p, and that's going to be completely full, 2p6, to give you a total of 10 electrons, 19 remaining. We then go to the third energy level, 3s2, and then 3p6, and we still have one electron remaining that we can fill. So we go then to the final shell, which is going to be the 4s2, 
and it's going to have one electron to equal a total of 19 electrons, and we've rewritten this in the ground state configuration. What atom is this? Let's take a look at our periodic table. And if we were to convert this to major energy level notation, it would look like a 2. And then in the second energy level, there would be 2 plus 6, so 8 electrons, so 2 dash 8. And then the third elect energy level, there's going to be 2 in the s orbital and, and 6 in the p orbital electrons, so it's going to be dash 8. And then just 1 in the 4s, which is going to be dash 1, which means that our atom is going to be potassium, or K. Okay.